we are on question number 69 i'm going to read it uh, in both languages english and urdu so uh, first of all i will read this in english after that i will speak this in urdu because there are somehow different types of uh, different uh, uh, class fellow students and nurses who didn't understand english well that's why uh, for their understanding i am speaking uh, also in urdu Okay, so which of the following is an indication of a complication of septic shock? क्या है question है कि कह रहा है कि कौन सी ऐसी एक indication है एक इशारा है कि septic shock की complication जो होती है वो हो जाती है ठीक है ये मतलब है कि एक patient है उसको septic shock है तो एकदम से कैसे जो है आपने उसको उस, उसकी कोई वो किसी और कॉम्प्लिकेशन की तरफ जा रहा है आपने कैसे एकदम इंडिकेट कर दिया ठीक है सो देर आर फोर ऑप्शन एनाफ्लैक्सिस जो एनाफ्लैक्सिस है वो वेजोजेनिक शॉक में होता है वेजोजेनिक शॉक में सो दिस इज नॉट अ राइट आंसर एक्यूट रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस सेंड्रोम Yes, this is our right answer because the uh, because whenever the patient is come with septic shock, the first complication for uh, for for a septic shock is acute respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, according to uh, the manifestation, the patient having a uh, SOB, severe SOB, uh, patient uh, uh, patient uh, uh, feel drowsiness and. Uh, the distress of respiratory condition so that's why the acute condition uh, comes in this uh, <coughs> septic shock so the right answer is acute respiratory distress syndrome chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is uh, the, when the when the res acute respiratory distress syndrome stay for a long time uh, for a prolonged time then the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease will create so this is also a wrong answer Micro valve prolapse. This is also a wrong answer because whenever the micro uh, uh, valve valve uh, prolapse uh, come, the micro valve stay pushed back to their surface. So uh, this is not a right answer. So the right answer is acute respiratory distress syndrome. So next chapter, I will uh, write this in detail. So uh, this is the